Hello guys and welcome back to Book Read Friday. Today's theme is kind of mathsy. I realise that a lot of students who you know want to study things like physics, uh, computer science, maths, engineering, they end up getting into things like banking. So the point of this video is to give you more of a university applications book recommendation list that will help you you know think about a different career. Um, so it's less so to just you know be interesting more so useful to university applications. So first book uh, in this week's list is this fantastic book, uh, which is simply calculations that are A-level physics related. Now, the reason why I recommend this is that, um, or books very similar to this as well, is because when you go to interviews at places like Oxford or Cambridge, it's very important that you can solve questions under pressure. You're going to be given a question, you know, with a scenario that say, you know, here's this information, here's this question, solve it. And they expect you to use your knowledge of maths and physics or chemistry to work out the answer. And this is dependent on which subject you're applying for. If you're maths, you know, they're not going to expect you to know lots of chemistry. But if you're applying for chemistry, they will expect some basic chemistry knowledge. So physics is a subject which, you know, I did at A-level as well. And so I find this book really useful because not only did this book help me for my A-level revision, it also helped me actually do pure physics calculations. If you've done past papers, you may realize that physics papers and a lot of science papers, as well as having the application questions, they also ask you for a lot of fluffy questions which ask for definitions and, you know, for you to explain concepts and different theories. Whereas this book gets rid of all of that and it's pure, pure calculations. And so what this book will help you do is develop your ability to do calculation questions. And this is really important because, like I said in interviews, being able to do calculations is a very important part because for things like engineering, they will expect you to have a very, very, you know, competent ability to do mathematics. Uh, and, you know, the best way to improve that is by practicing. Now, the really good thing about this book is that for questions that are very hard, they do have answers in them back. But, um, you know, if you were like me and, you know, you find even the easy questions very difficult, then they've got the answers for that at the back also. So a very good book that will help you improve your calculation rigor ahead of interviews for Oxford and Cambridge, but also other universities which might be interviewing for these hard science subjects. The next book is this book, The Oxbridge Formula. Before I continue, I want to say thank you for the publishers of this book for making this video possible today. But that aside, you know, here's why I recommend this book also. So if you're applying to, you know, things like computer science, engineering, mathematics, it's very important that you have a holistic application. But what this book is good at doing is that it walks you through everything from the, you know, personal statement writing part of things to the interview part of things to even the admissions tests part of things. So it's a very holistic guide to applying to university, particularly Oxford and Cambridge, for the hard sciences. So similar to the book before, where I recommended, you know, doing lots of calculations to improve your mathematical rigor, this book is another way of bolstering your arsenal of, you know, knowledge when it comes to putting together an application for university. Because remember, if you want to, you know, go to a specific university, you've got to make sure that you cover all the bases that they're expecting. The more resources you go through, you know, to improve your application process, the more likely you are to pick up different golden nuggets from different resources to give you ultimately the best application chance possible. So for the sciences, a very, very good book. Now the last book for this week's Book Read Friday is this book. So, you know, this is Investing for Income. It's a Financial Times guide and, it's a, quite an expensive book as well, I think it was like £27 for this. But why I found this book useful was because as a medical student, you don't really get exposed to too much information about the finance world. And what I realised was that looking around me at Cambridge, a lot of the students who did things like mathematics, computer science and physics, they went on to work at investment banks and quant firms. So it's really important that if you're applying for a hard science, you also consider the route of investing, you know, as, uh, as an investor, as a banker in the future, because statistically, a lot of people go into it. And this may be a route, a career option that you haven't even considered. You might be loving physics. And I'm sure a lot of people who go to Cambridge, you know, do, they do love physics. But by the time they finish the first year of their course, they've already got an internship sorted. So this book is a really good introduction at sort of uh, giving you sort of, how can I say, the core concepts of investing, the core concepts of, you know, what an investment banker would go through from arranging a portfolio, to, you know, different things that you can trade, why they're important, wise decisions, and even what's considered like a good return on your portfolio. This book goes through not only um, the fun parts of investment banking and, you know, the fact that it's very good for making money and, you know, asset management, all, but it actually touches on the gritty details that you need to uh, have, you know, a good grasp of 
to do well in this world. So I'd say if you're considering things like computer science, mathematics and physics, because there's a you know quite a big chance you might end up in banking, maybe you might not, but you know, hear me out. Just read this book anyway, and I think it's a it's just a nice introduction. And also, even if you are like a researcher, you you know you do a physics PhD and you run your own research lab, you might just want to invest as a side income. You know, so by reading this book, even if you don't want to be a banker, you're not really going to lose out on anything. We've got three fantastic books. Um, really recommend you read all of them. But as I mentioned, this week's books are slightly geared towards those applying for, you know, the hard sciences at university, but also eventually considering a career path in banking or in asset management um, or in private equity or all of those things. So although I didn't study something like maths, computer science or physics at university, given my knowledge of what's required of you, if you want to apply for a hard science, these books are valuable and worthwhile reading to give you a good chance of, you know, having a strong application. Like I said, go read these. I recommend them. The links are in the description down below. Uh, if you haven't yet done so, do go follow my Instagram and I've now got Twitter as well. So follow me on there, Synthuron underscore K. And yes, that's it for this week's Book Read Friday. Bit different, less so related to medicine, but nevertheless, very interesting. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you guys soon in the next video. Bye-bye.